everyone, it's Milky and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a series of three looks I put together in honor of Halloween. I wouldn't quite call them costumes, but they are considerably more thematic than what I would normally put together for a cord, so I thought it would be fun to put together this mini lookbook. I hope you enjoy. Let's begin! This first look is inspired by a classic, Alice in Wonderland. The main focus of this look is this beautiful periwinkle blue vintage dress from the 40s or 50s. It's one of my most cherished pieces in my wardrobe, but I thought it would be perfect for Alice with its silhouette and color. On top, I added this chiffon apron that I made a while ago. I think it's such a cute piece for layering. This biscuit bag from the brand Swimmer was absolutely perfect for an Alice in Wonderland look, and I thought it incorporated this tea party theme well. I love adding accessories onto outfits, and I thought this rabbit skull necklace from the Etsy shop Defy Jewelry brought a slightly creepy touch to the look. I also wore this beautiful macaron necklace from BB&B Deco to further the tea party theme. It's a sugary sweet contrast to the skull necklace. My wig is from Yes Style, and though it's not quite the same color or length as Alice's in the animated movie, I thought it still worked well for the look. My hair bow was a free gift from the online shop Cherry Cordial Official. These Doc Martin Mary Janes are quite simple, but I don't think this look needs anything more. Plus, they're very comfortable. The socks I just found at Walmart. If you look in the kids section, you can often find cute and frilly socks for very cheap. This next look is actually one that I would normally wear in real life, maybe with some slight modifications though. If you've been following me for a little while, you likely know that I really love the aesthetic of mushrooms. So I decided to put together a lot of my mushroom themed clothes and accessories to make this my collegeist look. I love this dress from the Taobao brand Crucius. The mushroom designs on it are so cute. Although there aren't very many reds in the print, I think this dress looks really nice with that color. I wore my La Maison embroidered blouse from Emma Vell underneath it, with this beautiful Bordeaux cardigan from Les Lisa layered on top. On the collar of the blouse, I have this very pretty mushroom brooch from the brand Peppermint Fox. I think adding pins onto the collars of blouses looks so cute. I'm wearing the Miss Scarlet wig from the brand Dreamholic. It's one of my favorite wigs. I'm wearing a cheap beret from AliExpress with some more peppermint fox mushroom brooches pinned onto it to make it more interesting. I think these round glasses, which are also from AliExpress, give this look a cute scholarly feel, which is fitting since a mycologist is a mushroom biologist. These Oxford heels from Bodyline probably aren't the sort of thing a real mushroom scientist would wear, but again, I think they provide a cute academic touch. I've worn some red tights from Anthropology to bring some more of the color through the look. As an aside, isn't this vintage fungi identification book gorgeous? The art in it is so beautiful. The final look is much more detail-oriented than the previous two, and perhaps less obvious, but this cord is inspired by the Tooth Fairy. I use little accessories and themes to bring the idea to it. I'm wearing my favorite Twinkle Constellation skirt from Baby the Stars Shine Bright as the main piece in this look. I thought the dreamy celestial print was fitting for this, since as the story goes, the Tooth Fairy comes when you're asleep. This print is just so precious. I adore it. My blouse is from the Taobao brand Chess Story. I like the pinkish tone that it has. The wig I'm wearing is from Unique So. It's actually a cosplay wig for the character Tosaka Rin from the series Fates Day Night, but I think twin tail wigs are just so cute, so I had to use it for this look. I also wore this small pair of angel wings from AliExpress to bring a little magical touch to the look. It is supposed to be a fairy after all. This necklace from the Etsy shop Extolo Jewelry was actually the inspiration for this look. I think it's so cool and creepy. 
It's made from fake teeth, of course, though some of them are actually vintage porcelain teeth that would have been used for dentures in the past. It's such a weird and unique piece. I love it. I incorporated some iridescent tones onto my eyelids and lips to give this look a dreamier feel. I also put little confetti stars on my cheeks. I got these tooth-shaped earrings on Depop, and the seller said that they were handmade by some Japanese brand, but I don't believe that they mentioned the shop name. These shoes are also from Bodyline, and they're replicas of the oh-so-beautiful Vivian Westwood rocking horse shoes. I really want to get the real design someday. So, let me know what your favorite look was. I had a lot of fun putting these three looks together, and although this lookbook was quite short, I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye!